Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound calcium phosphide. So let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. I first see that I have a calcium. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where calcium is, and calcium is right here. Calcium is represented as a Ca. It's in group 2. All of group 2 elements are alkaline earth metals, so they're metals, and they all share a common charge of being a plus 2. So that's the first thing I'm going to write, Ca plus 2. Now comes phosphide. I see that I have an IDE ending, which means that it's probably going to be a nonmetal on the periodic table. So I look for something that starts with phos, right? And I find it right here. This is phosphorus. Phosphorus is represented as a P. Phosphorus is a nonmetal, right? And it's in this group. So the trend, the oxidation trend, is always a negative 3. So that's what I'm going to write down. Phosphorus is a negative 3. Now I have the two components, or the two elements. I take these charges, and I do this trick where I crisscross them to just say how many of each element I need in my formula. This plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 2 phosphorus. And then this negative 3 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 3 calciums. When you do this little trick, you can kind of get rid of the, the charges on the top. We're just focusing on how many of each we need on the bottom. So now let's write the formula. I have calcium, Ca. I need three of them, so I write the three. I move on. I got phosphorus, P. I need two of them, so I write a two. And I'm done. That's it, guys. How easy is that? Calcium phosphide is Ca3P2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I'll see you all in future lessons, all right? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.